Okay, today we'll be talking about linked list. But in this uh, video, we'll just be talking about the principles of linked list and the source code or the example source code for the linked list in C language will be on the next video. Now, what is a linked list? So, a linked list is a sequence of data structures which are connected together via links. A linked list is a sequence of links which contains items and each link contains a connection to another link. Linked list is the second most used data structure after array. Following are the important terms to understand the concept of linked list. First is link. Each link of a linked list can store a data called an element. So it can have an element. So the element is, uh, can have actually several values or several variables. Next, in each link of a linked list contains a link to the next link and we usually call that the next variable. The linked list, so a linked list contains the connection link to the first link called sometimes first or head. And in some cases, we can also have a tail. But in this example, in, under, in our illustrations, we did not place tail. But as a suggestion, I think it would be better to place tail also rather than just head. So here is now the visual representation of a linked list. So linked list can be visualized as a chain of nodes where every node points to the next node. So as we can see, we have created a node pointing to the next node and this node pointing again to the next node. So let's take a look at uh, this one. So as per the above illustration, following are the important points to be considered. Link list contains a link element called head or first. So here's our head. So this is also of the same data type, but this one is pointing to the first node. That's why we call it the head. So each link carries data fields, a data field or fields. So these are data items. It can be several fields, not just a single field, and a link field called next. So we have the data items and we have the link field called next. Each link is linked with its next link using its next link. So each link is linked to the next link using its next link. I hope that's clear. So let's repeat. This is a link. This is another link. Its link to so this one's its link pointing to the next link this is the next link using its next link so the link carries a link as null to mark the end of the first of the list so the last link is pointing to null what are types of link list so what we have here is a simple link list. So item navigation is just forward only. Then we also have what we call double link list. So here items can be navigated forward and backward. But we'll be showing examples of this later. Maybe another slide or another video. Circular link list. The last item contains a link of the first element as next and the first element has a link to the last element as previous. So again, uh, we'll be showing that in the next videos. So here are the basic operations. So we have insertion, adds an element inside the list, so not only at the beginning. Deletion and delete, deletes an element in any portion of the list. So delete here, we use a key to delete. 
and we can only do that if we search for the key that's why we have also have the search operation and the display here displays the complete list or similar to traverse or actually that's also can be called a traverse operation so to illustrate some of this let's proceed to the next slide insertion operation so adding a new node in linked list is a more is more than one step we shall learn this with diagrams here first we create a node using the same structure so this is the new node and find the location where it has to be inserted so imagine that we are inserting node b this is node b between a this is the A or the left node and C or the right node. Again, this is the left node, the right node, and this is the new node. So what we're going to do is point B or the new node next to link C. So this one should be pointing at this link. So this link should be pointing at this link. Again, the new node should be pointing at C or the right node. So we do that by assigning the new node that next equal to the right node. So this one should be pointing here. So that's the first step. Then next, now the next node at the left should be should point to the new node. So this is our left node. It should be pointing to the new node. So left node that next should be equal to new node. Then that's it. This will put the new node in the middle of the two. The new list should look like this. So this is our left node pointing to the new node and the new node is pointing to the right node. So it is now the new node is now inserted between the left node and the right node. Similar step should be taken if the node is being started at the beginning of the list. So if it is at the beginning of the list, the head is our left node and this maybe is our right node. If it is at the end of the list, this is our left node and null is our right node. So while inserting it at the end, second last node to the list should be should point to the new node and the new node will point to null. Again, this is just a visual illustration. So in our next slides, we'll be discussing or we'll be showing you codes to do this. Now, the deletion operation. Deletion is also more than one step process. We shall learn with pictorial representation. So first, what we do is locate the target node to be removed by using searching algorithm. So let's say, for example, in our illustration, this is our target node. So the left node or the previous nodes, this is our left node, our right node of the target node now should point to the next node of the target node. So this is our target node. Again, the target node, the next of our target node is pointing to the right node. So what we're going to do is this one, the value of this should be assigned to the next node of our left node. That's why left node that next is equal to the target node that next so that means again this is pointing to this node so once we assign this to this the left node now is pointing to the right node this will remove the link that was pointing to the target node now using the following code we will remove the target node uh, where the target node is pointing at so it is uh, initially, it is uh, pointing to the right node, this node. Now, this time around, we assign null to its next. So this, so this target node is now pointing to nowhere. Okay, so it's not pointing to any link. Then that's it. So if we have our list, we want to traverse our list. So we have the head. This node is now pointing to this node. This node is pointing to null. So the target node is no longer a part of the link list and all we have to do is to deallocate the memory using C language code 
let's take a look at another operation, the reverse operation. So this operation is a thorough one. We need to make the last node to be pointed by the head node. So this one, the head node should be pointing to this and reverse the whole link list. So that means that this one should be pointing to this, this should be pointing to the next, previous, previous, and so on and so forth. So how do we do that? So first, we traverse to the end of the list. So we proceed to the end of the list. So we traverse to the end of the list. Then it, it should be pointing to null. So our the end of the list is pointing to null. Now we make it point to its previous node. So this is the last node. We make it link to the previous node. So we should know what is the previous node. So again, instead of pointing to null, this should be pointing to the previous node. So we have to make sure that the last node is not the last node. So we'll have some temp node and which looks like the head node pointing to the last node. So and then now we shall make all left side nodes point to their previous nodes one by one. So this should be pointing to this and this should be pointing to whatever uh, if there are still members of the list, etc. Except the node, the first node pointed by the head node, all nodes should now point to their predecessor, making them their new successor. The first node will now point to, so the first node will now point to none. And we'll make the head node point to the new first node by using the temp node. So this one now should be pointing here. Okay, so I told you we have a temp node. So this one should be pointing here. So the head node is now pointing to our previous last node. So if you go to look at our, our link list, it is now in reverse. And maybe uh, we can better illustrate this with the source code, which will be on our next videos but now we're just trying to view them visually how it is done and that ends our introduction to link list